Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. We're looking at Psalm 100. It simply has the inscription, a psalm of thanksgiving, or as some translations say, a psalm of praise. It's a psalm that the people of Israel are encouraged to come into the presence of God with joyful singing, with submissive spirits, and with thankful hearts. And my friend, that's the way all believers today should enter into His presence every day, every moment of every day, knowing that He is our God and it is He that has made us and we are the sheep of His pasture. Well, let's read these first few verses and have a few comments about them. He says in verse 1, Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. You know, God's people are joyful people. They have fullness of life. They have completeness of life. They have fulfillment in life. They actually have life. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and you might have it more abundantly. The Bible teaches us that the fruit of the Spirit is love, and joy when you truly are indwelt by the Word of God and the Spirit of God, there will be great joy in our hearts. And that's why he says, make a joyful shout to the Lord. We understand why the nation of Israel, because of all the blessings that God has given them, would be joyful people shouting to the Lord. But it says, all you lands. In other words, Israel had the uh, commission to take the good news of the true and the living God, the God who created the heavens and the earth, the God who made us, take that message to all the lands of all the earth. So we, as believers, as Gentiles, join in this praise. And then our worship should lead to service. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with thanksgiving. Yes, true worship leads to service for the Lord. We serve Him. Oh, we serve Him because of who He is and because of what He's done for us. And we come into His presence with singing because it leads back to a fulfilled life. When we are worshiping and serving, we will have a singing heart, making melody in our hearts to the Lord in praise. And then in verse 3, know that the Lord is... He is God. Now that word know there means more than just have an intellectual uh, ac acceptance that God is the Lord God of all the earth. No, it means to be intimately acquainted with Him. It means to know by experience. It comes with the uh, thought that it means acknowledge. Make sure you proclaim that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us, not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. And no doubt this was Israel basically acknowledging that God is the one that took them from Ur of the Chaldees when Abraham left that land and as an idol worshiper. And God made him into a great nation, not because they deserved it, not because they were great and, and mighty and all that, but because God took them as a little tiny group of people, made them into a great nation. And my friend, they are His people, and they are the sheep of His pasture. In other words, He will protect them and take care of them. No nation in all the history of the world has been taken care of like the nation of Israel. Matter of fact, just this morning, my son, who is coming back from India with a group, and our grandson, Jariah, texted me from uh, United Arab Emirates and uh, as he's on his way in transition in the airport there and said that Hamas has attacked Israel with a barrage of rockets and there's been some death, there's some fighting and there is a state of war now there in Israel. But my friend, we know that we got a God who made Israel. He's protected them all these years and they'll continue to be protected. And I'm going there this next January and I'm not worried a bit about what's going on right now because God, these are His people, the sheep of His pasture. And today, we as believers, He is our good shepherd and we're in His fold also. What a blessing. And I trust that you will worship Him today. You'll serve Him today. You'll be submissive. You'll acknowledge that He is God. 
Well, God bless you, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.